What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Vatrix, bringing y'all part 10 of Red Dead Redemption 2. So now, we are about to pick yep. up where we left off, going over to go see John Marcy. I'm about to, we're about to actually go see what he wants, so let's go check him out. See what we got up. Alright, Marston, where are you? Right over here, back at the camp. Perfect. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'm gonna keep these videos cranking out two a day, trying to get up on a good upload schedule. So the goal is I will try and get videos out. Like my first video of the day, I normally try and get out by like 10 o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time. That's like the time frame that I live in. Then my second video is probably gonna be out like at around 6 p.m. So that's like the goal for videos. Try and crank them out two a day for y'all around those times. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And um, I'm loving it. Every time I pick up this controller and start up the game, I just love playing it. Because each adventure, it just keeps getting crazier and crazier. And I just love it. <laughs> even when I die, I still love it. Even though I may get mad. But who doesn't? <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Because if you guys are, be sure to um, be sure to drop a like and be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna keep cranking it out for you guys. We got a dead duck right here. So let's let's cook him up. Why not? I know that sounds bold, but hey. I don't think Morgan has ate in a very long time. We gotta get his uh his health up. Let me save it. Why not? So let's get him some food. Eat up. Another one real quick, and then we'll be on our way. Okay, we got his food up, oh, got his health up. All right, let's get ready to head out. All right, let's go. Let's go and see John Marston. Yep. So long since he ate, I had to get his health in. So I figured why not. Alright, right. sounds like somebody's being held up at home. Open the damn lock, or give me the damn key. Just stay Yeah, things cannot go well for him. Honey, lockbox, we don't got so we the key. Master, help! Hey. Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Yep. Hey, look, the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Sounds good, mister. Got that right. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, see what we got. Cartridges, more cartridges, and some baked beans. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, cool. See, it's always nice to help people in need. You can always get free stuff yep. at times. I don't know how generous the person really is feeling. But RIP to that driver, though. He took it. Took a bullet to the head, probably. Let's go back and see John Marston. Unless we have any more interruptions. Look out! I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I almost thought that was a guard for a second. Yeah, let me slow down so Majestic can catch her breath real quick. Boy. 
so buggy around here. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go hunting. I gotta go hunting at some point. And get my um, my hunting tips and everything up. It's been a while since we've done that. I think the last time we hunted actually was um, was actually like when we was doing that bear hunt earlier in the series. John. Yup, John over here getting a shot on. Alright, let's see what's going on. What's you shooting at, John? Shit. <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. That's not even John. Well, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yo, yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, huh? Grow up. See, I always knew he was crazy. Let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. <clears throat> what are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Sounds like we got another train robbery Tell on me. our hands. Let's go earn some money. <laughs> Question is, when do we don't rob oh. trains? 
Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. They're left here, towards roads. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Man, so, you got the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Your whole relationship Remember, is Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to... Mr. Marsh? Mr. Smith? Mr. McGuire? Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. Oh, get ready. I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Bastard! All yours, Captain! Go on ah! Everybody stay calm in the air! Light shot! Oh. Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! This is unnecessary. Please. I would hate to be in these go. passenger shoes. Get back this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving until this bag's full! Me and Rob's. I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Oh, don't tell me I'm about to... What's the problem here? Oh, my... Oh, oh. Oh. Don't do this. Just give Look it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. okay, in the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People shots. like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Again? Stop. I'm gonna count them. God damn it. Oh, Sick is better than dead, lady. Ooh. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just, just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Right, Jack. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? Why are you wasting our time? You show this fucking bitch we ain't playing around here. Sorry, sir. 
Everything you got. Business. Money. That's really how they did this though back in the Where old West in the old days. Old. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend. Oh, Sorry, sir. Come on, help me out, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks What is it? You alright? Bill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? Gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Some decent I'll stuff. That. I'll take that. Oh. I can't grab the cigar. Oh. I'm gonna have a right out oh. lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Let's see what else you got. In there. Oh, Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know. That's what's worrying me. We're looking good in here. Come on, we should get out of here. Let's see what else we got. These Take folks that. are rich, all right. All right, we should probably be going now. One second, let me just grab this. Everything. We'll take that. Yeah, a lot of jewelry on here. Pocket watch? Another platinum pocket watch? Wait, he said take something. Brandy. There's something else in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come off the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberty. Eh? There's a few more to turn another. <sighs> Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last
side of here. Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank, enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Oh. That was a lot of money we just made, 206. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's a snake. That's a snake. That's a snake. That's a snake. Ah. I'm thinking that was a person. We, got, we have another John mission. We're going to keep it rolling. See what John has to offer. Oh, we're in Valentine. I was saying earlier, like when we were all ready to do that big heist for the train, I was going to say that um, John really does not like um, that I, that Irish dude, like whatsoever. Cause I can't remember his name, but John does not like him whatsoever. <laughs> they have like a really bad relationship towards one another. But he is a pretty cocky dude. Like, I think that he knows everything. It's just funny to me. Oh, look at the moon. Oh, moon. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So it looks like it's starting to turn up, though. Lights are probably starting to shade. So that's good. Yeah, okay, boy. Lights coming up. Say, that was a pretty successful heist that we did over here. No casualties. Hey, down one of these days. Maybe Charity will find you. What happened? What's going on now? Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. Just as evil begat evil your whole life long, so good may beget All good. All right, boy. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Yeah. At first, I thought he was going to be one of them people that was going to try to ride me again and, like, steal all my money, but he was actually a wholesome dude. Because I remember I ran into that earlier. <laughs> like, earlier on, like, in the series. Some guy was pretending to be a homeless person just to ride me in my cash. And, he, and the dude actually had, like, $20 on him or something. I was really hoping, like, not to get robbed. It's like we're coming up on uh, Valentine. Oh, am I glad I found you. Arthur, <laughs> they got Bill. What? Who has? Bountyman. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm going to go take care of him. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. Come in. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, why All not? right, lead the way. How'd you find it? Perfect timing, you said he was going hunting? Never return. Wait, where are you going? He was I was able to track the tracers pretty easily. 
only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp. Head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. Let's go rescue Bill. Then we'll go take care of John Marcy. Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Oh, Bill, what did you get yourself into now? Yeah, I try to help, like, a lot of people that's in need, especially if they're on our team. We gotta make sure our team is straight before we have ends. Like, how they say family over everything. We gotta make sure it's straight. So, Bill, let's see what you got yourself into. fellers for this well I'm gonna head back to camp find a bottle and nurse these bruises yeah I'm headed to camp as well thanks Arthur yep no problem uh, what's next I make sure everybody's okay Actually, you rescue Bill. Wedding ring. Ten dollars. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Okay. Well, let's head back. Let's go see what John Marston needs. That, that was really beneficial, yep. actually. part is, um, Bill wasn't even that far away from, uh, John Marston in the first place, so that's what we did. So I'm thinking we was going to have to try. 
travel all the way back. Yeah. Cause just about enough trouble. Hey, for careful us. there. I don't cause any trouble. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... We're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Hey. How the hell are you? It's honestly good to be back in town. There's a hitch post over there. Up. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Morning, uh, I already don't like how this is going. Tell you one thing, that's one beautiful horse. I like the white tail and then like the brown body. It's beautiful. Morning, Barnett. Alright, let's go back to John. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Hello, how can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. Hmm. Select the rolling block rifle. Okay. And it's free. Sounds good to me. I 
Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, <laughs> you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Uh, Mary? Mary? <laughs> that was yeah, I had to bring up no, Mary. No, it man. ain't. Why? Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. First, he had to bring up Jack and the whole fishing thing. Knowing the boy is scarred after seeing the two guys with the guns. And then he had to bring up Mary when he knows things are complicated. Man, why? <laughs> why? Honestly, I feel like Arthur needs to go back and get Mary, though, speaking of her. Like, I can see them two getting back together, wow. potentially. Let's head up to the bridge up the there. Past. Get a proper view. Yeah, we need to know more of their past about what happened. Definitely. Because I feel like they should get back together. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Now the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Ooh, who we got down there? Okay. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. We took off. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. He took off. Put too. another shot in close. He'll get the. That ought to do it. All right, let's go round them up. All right. Let's go, boy. Couple of Let's go shots. get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? <laughs> no. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Of course, you know me. Gotta take my shortcuts. Like, why would it let me? Why is it an indicator? Yeah, I don't have my weapon. Right. Ooh, I just this ran will over go one. a lot faster if what? you shut up, Marston. Slow it up. Yeah. Like, why would it let me shout back out to him? Like, how I did it? Alright, I 
think we got them all. Oh, that's because he was Let's doing it all. The, that's because he you was the one that was doing it all. Mark, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. Go. Yeah, why was that anything? It'll be quicker up? this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I guess he was rounding up all of the sheep. Like that's the reason why I wasn't there popping go. up. Go, go. Calm it down. Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Keep moving. Uh, this is how you heard, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you heard. Take your good little distance. And just keep encouraging the go. Wow, why did it aim over with the birds? That was so weird. Back in the town. I guess they knew where their way was. Oh, we got a stray. We got a stray. We got a stray. Yep. Let's go. Come on. Yep. You got me getting stuck now. Let's talk to group. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure, I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. <laughs> Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? All right. Let's see what's going on with Dutch. <laughs> that was a fun little roundup, though. Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will ya? We ain't kids no more. No, never really was. All right, let's see what's going on. 
going on in the saloon? No, no it's it's hot food. Oh, I don't whiskey. believe in absolutes, People just do. shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I am. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen? Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? Oh man. You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. Oh shit. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. <laughs> so that's what Leviticus you Cornwall. Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be Arthur the Messiah? Not me. Are you kidding me? I missed the shot. I missed the perfect shot. <laughs> no. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> I shot directly at his hat and missed his whole head. Who? <laughs>
Jungle Oh, please, please. 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 Please, we're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alrighty then, we keep it the dirty word. Alright. I better get Ooh, right in the head. Valentine again. But I just did that so I can blow up. Okay, we should be safe in a few minutes. Yeah, but I know I'm definitely wanted. I can never go back to that town again until I pay off my bounty. Since I killed like a good 10 people, my bounty's probably gonna be like a good five hundred dollars or something. Survived. Woo! We survived the scene of the day. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yep. it's gonna be the end of part ten. I'll catch you guys part eleven when we go to the D, and let's see what he wants us to do when we get back. Oh, uh, that's Dutch Van Der Dutch Van Der Lind. Dutch needs to speak to you. So we'll speak to Dutch in part eleven, guys. Love you guys.